Good afternoon and welcome to the first in a series of short and useful guides on how to make your life and the world in general a much happier and better place. Today we're going to learn to play the guitar. There are two things in my life that I loved at the time when I learned to play the guitar. One was Spider-Man and the other was Clint Eastwood. And we're going to put those two things together and show you how to play guitar in the manner of Star Spider-Man and Clint Eastwood. You don't need to have any prior experience, all you need are some fingers, a foot, a guitar, a plectrum, an ability to whistle, an ability to go, and an ability to stamp that foot too. The first thing we need to do is to fire a web like Spidey. See that? That's how Spidey shoots a web. Now when you can do that, give it a try. We're going to put those two fingers here, and we're going to put them on these two strings of the guitar, the A and the D. You can Google them, we're not going to go into too much detail here. Once you've got that, give it a strum, all the strings. It's an E minor chord, and it sounds a little dark and a little weird. Quite scary. You can think of it like this. When people went to see Black Sabbath and Ozzy Osbourne, they did that, didn't they? That's probably because an E minor chord is used extensively in a lot of early Sabbath stuff. And that's where that came from, it's the origin of the devil horns. If you believe that, you'll believe anything. Anyway, the next thing we need to do in our quest here, is to take those two fingers and move them across a string like that. And add a wee finger there. And that gives us an A minor chord. Still sounds a little dark. So to make that sound happier, we're going to take this finger now. The big dumb finger that doesn't really do much. We're going to pop it just there on that fifth string and that gives us a nice C major chord. Which sounds much brighter and nicer. So our three chords we've got are an E minor, an A minor, a C major, and we're ready for business. Imagine the scene in dusty Texas. Maybe Monument Valley where all the good John Ford films were shot. We're going to play that E minor. And we're going to strum down with this hand. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. That's called playing the beat. You can tap your foot along with it as well. When we count an hand, we're going to play upwards. And we're going to use this pattern of one, two, three, and four, and one. So let's do that with our chords and the tap your foot. And then let's throw in the whistling and the ahs and see what happens. And that's how you play guitar, like Spider-Man and Clint Eastwood. Join us next time for more of the essay.